Hi. My name is Christopher Reeder. I've taught music in the district for the past nine years. Eight years. Sorry. I can read, actually. It's in the name. And have been a teacher for 21 years. Our whole profession is based on the belief that knowledge transforms us for the better. And with evidence-based knowledge that the district's name is an indefensible artifact rooted in racist history, we have an opportunity to do better, to be better. It's our responsibility as educators. Hostile environments inhibit learning, and at the end of the day, this is about kids, the education they receive in our district, and fostering an inclusive environment in which all students feel welcomed and supported. Um, and I'm going to talk about uh, racial equity and restorative justice for a second. If, as frankly, a majority white district in a majority white county, we can evolve our understanding on this issue, it would send a powerful message to our students and neighbors. When our sisters and brothers who are people of color talk about the harm done, we need to sit with that and take it seriously and make a change. We talk about restorative justice with our students, right? And our responsibility, uh, responsibility to walk the talk. That's what restorative justice looks like. And for those of us who are troubled by the current political climate around the treatment of people of color and immigrants in this country, this is a thing we can do that will help. And there's a wider cultural context here. As people have mentioned, Confederate monuments are coming down all over the South. Last month, a school district in Alabama ended the practice of their band playing Dixie at football games. Alabama. And if <laughs> South Carolina can take the Confederate flag off of their state house, us Californians can take Dixie off of our school letterhead. This is the perfect time to do this. We don't really need to wait for a more convenient time because the time is now. Thank you for your attention.